This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Hi, hello, 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 and welcome. So this video is going to be a little bit different, and I guess I should start it with a, a little bit of a backstory. So a few weeks now, a few weeks ago, I was watching a YouTuber, uh, Connor, Dog VA, uh, go around Tokyo together with a real estate agent looking at properties that are up for sale, right? And they came across something that is quite, you know, quite interesting. And at this point, I will let the clip play out and then we'll continue. Oh my God, no, no. Isn't that amazing? That's not it, is it? It is. F off. I swear to God, that's it. That's for sale? This is for sale. All right, chat. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that's where we're going. That's the house? That's the house. Is that that's safe to go in? Uh, define safe. What, what, this thing? Safe is a relative term. Look at the, the fucking floor doesn't even have, like... Hold on, let me bring it up. What? <laughs> is it the land as well? Yes, so everything is included in this. Let me just bring up the... I, you're basically paying for land. And and you have to pay to demolish this thing as basically, well. Basically, yeah. So you're paying... Oh, 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 and you can't rebuild on here? What? Be because the, law, the laws don't allow you to. That's like the one thing about this is you cannot Wait, rebuild Wait, so you can't build here. anything? You can renovate the shit out of this building, but you have to keep the original posts intact. Yeah, that's a very How? common thing for How? like small places like this. How do you like keep this, this intact? So basically, you can take the walls, the ceilings, uh, everything, the floors out, yeah. and you can rebuild the entirety of the interior. With this with, as long as you still have the original frame, these pieces of wood, then you're fine. Why is that? Um, because they have laws like that over here. Wow, yeah. okay, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, um, if, if the street that it's on is less than two meters wide, then you can't do it. And wow. this is maybe a meter wide. Yeah, this is not. Yeah, forget it. You can't. So this got me interested, right? City planning rules, they change over time and they change uh, towards becoming more restrictive versions of themselves, meaning that there will be more and more instances of buildings like this where something that was legally built under the old regulation could not be considered legal under the new one. Basically, portions of the city get stun locked. So this got me thinking about the Nakagin Tower and how would it have grown throughout the decades. For those of you who are not familiar with Nakagin Tower in Tokyo, it's one of the landmarks for metabolistic architecture, which unfortunately is currently being demolished. It's one of my favorite buildings and has inspired many architects to try and make something well similar, at least, at least aesthetically. Uh, the concept of the tower was that its modularity enables dynamic relocation of blocks as well as creates potential for infinite growth. And this, this was exactly what I wanted to test out with this video. How would the Nakagin Tower look like if it grew over a long period of time following and reacting to the changing regulations of the city. Add time. Skillshare is an online learning community. They have thousands of classes covering all different types of skills and especially creative skills. They have a premium membership and this gives you an unlimited access to all of the classes. It's a great place to fuel your creativity because you can look up any class that you might be curious about or a skill that you'd like to tackle. For example, I am really bad at taking pictures and filming videos in dark, high contrast setting. But at the same time, those are the type of visuals that I find most aesthetic. So I jumped on Skillshare, found a class called Fundamentals of DSLR Photography by Justin Bridges, focused up for two hours, learned a bit of German because the website decided that they need German subtitles, took some notes and look at me now, taking pictures like a big boy cameraman that I am. So now if you look at the video description, you'll see a link. The first 1000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Add over. So the first step was to decide on how will this whole thing work. To represent the blocks of the Nakakin Tower, we'd need to use voxels. 
This will just let us simulate things much, much faster. Okay, so the voxel structure will grow by just stacking blocks next to each other. That's easy. But one more thing that it'll do is only calculate the exterior envelope of the structure because that is what the city planning regulations will focus on. So that's an optimization, optimization in itself. Okay, so what about the regulations then? Well, let's say we have a block, like one capsule of the tower. It receives light and it produces a shadow, right? So basically the trick is to make sure that all exterior faces receive at least an X amount of sunlight per given day. And the way we do this is, plop, a new capsule is potentially stacked on top of our initial one. The initial one still receives enough light, so the new one gets a building permit. Then a request for the third one comes in to be built. But since it blocks too much light from the first block, its building permit gets denied so it doesn't get created. You can see how important the actual amount of light in hours for each block to have is for the density of the structure. One more thing that will change over time is how far away the neighbors need to be from each potential new built capsule so that the effect of, the, of them wouldn't be considered. This is very important as a exponentially growing structure will require like exponential amount of resources and we don't have them, right? So after a little bit of scripting, a little bit of modeling, Here's the finished result. Okay, wait, so I guess I need to explain this a little bit better in what just happened and what the hell did you just watch. And for that, I have this animation right here. So this is the structure growing at its first phase. And let's just pause the video or yeah, the video here so that I can talk a little bit more about this. So at the top of the screen, you can see the search radius as well as the sunlight hours that each neighboring block requires. Uh, for the newly built blocks to, to get the building permit, basically. And I will be playing around with these two values, changing them to see how that influences the density and how that changes the, 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 the behavior of the structure, the growth of the structure. So here I've changed it to 75 meters instead of 50 for the search radius. And now you will be able to tell how, um, how much it influences the growth, right? See how much it got cut right there at the bottom? And it's basically because no new growth could have made there, no new blocks could receive a building permit because suddenly it's searching for 75 meters of, of its neighbors instead of 50. So suddenly, you know, it, it's shading, uh, every new block is shading more neighbors than what it used to uh, with the old regulation. So I will let this play out, but keep an eye on for what's happening in the top and what kind of numbers are used in the top, just to kind of guide you through this. Um, I am constantly increasing the restrictions. So it's it, it, the system is becoming more and more restrictive over time. And by the end of it, we will have 150 meters search radius with f at least five hours of sunlight. And that produces a very, very uh, thin column and then as you can see here I switched to anarchy which is free for all and I, you know it, the structure just explodes right let's just play this one more time because I've spent way too long on the simulation and I'm definitely going to milk it to the last drop but while this is playing I just want to say I hope that this illustrates how this structure, this almost vertical city interacts with the changes within the reg regulations, how it gets affected by them and uh, how certain areas become locked and how much it expands, how much it has the potential to expand when all regulations are just simply lifted. 
well, not 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 to say that it's a good thing, right? And consider this as my love letter and my goodbye to the Nakagin capsule tower. I'll see you in the next one. Later.